welcome to Bakra Nation. Today I'm going to be going over some of the rules I follow every day when I play Bakra. I think it's really important to have a set of rules you develop for yourself that you can follow when you play. Rules, in my opinion, lead to consistency. Let's look over some of the rules that I follow. My Bakra rules. Starting right off with what most people won't want to hear, my current recommended bankroll is $1,000 per $1 base bet. So if you're betting dollar bets, you need to at least have a $1,000 bankroll. $5 bets, you better have $5,000 in your balance. That said, let's go on. Rule number one, flat bet for three to five units per session having a daily goal of 20 units. Rule number two, if negative five units is reached, you're going to activate recovery mode. For recovery mode, we're going to be using a modified De La Bear system using money management. Starting with a base bet, go up one unit with a loss and down one unit or more with a win starting with your base bet to recoup loss, and then restart flat betting once back under negative five units. Example, if you're flat betting and you lose five times, one, two, three, four, five, that'll put you at negative five units, and then we're gonna be activating a recovery mode. A recovery mode starts at your base bet, in this case would be one. If you lose, you go to two. Lose again, go to three and so forth. If at any point, if you should win on your third bet, you will drop back down to one. Pay attention to where you are at. Most times when you get back down to three or before that, you can jump back down to base bet with a small profit or loss, or even at even. Always return to base bet after winning your third bet the first time or any time thereafter. Recovery mode bets can and do get high. I can't stress enough how important it is to bring the bets down as soon as possible. This style of betting can destroy you if you don't keep the bets under control. Now let's talk about the game plan. These are some of the strategies I use when I play, and they change as needed during the shoe. My number one go-to system I use is a 3-in-1 P3, P4. My top three strategies all come from Gambling Chi on YouTube, which are the 3-in-1, True Trend, True Chop, in that order, especially with a new shoe, and Chi 1 and Chi 2. I also will use Follow the Shoe, Pattern Reading, TBL, Time Before Last, and House Way. You hear me mention a lot of times that I'm playing P3. P3 simply means it's the point I'm going to stop betting on the chop and betting on the trend. In this case, P3, I'm going to bet the chop here, bet the chop here if needed. If I lose this bet and it goes to 4, then I will continue on betting with the trend. P4 means I am going to bet the chop down to the fourth line. Then if that one loses, I will continue on. Primarily I use P3. P2 is also an option as a variation. Options while flat betting only. These are some of the options I follow while flat betting only. I do a positive progression bet if my first bet is a win and I'm playing for a streak. I will also do positive progression bets on streaks and chops after three, one or more times. I like to follow a one hour session time limit. I find that after one hour, my brain gets really fried and I need a break. And I'll play four to six sessions a day as needed to reach my goal. My current goal is to make $100 a day. Danger, danger, Will Robinson. Yes, I'm a big Lost in Space fan. All systems and strategies will fail. I place the greatest importance on bankroll, Rule number one, rule number two, and being able to recognize when you need to switch systems or strategies during the shoe and to which one. This takes time to develop, but basically, if one of the systems ain't working, 
you need to switch to something else. Income potential. That's what everyone's concerned about. How much money you making? How much can you make? You're playing with dollar bets? How are you going to make any money playing with a buck? All kinds of questions come up with my money management strategy. I hear this a lot. But little wins add up to a lot over time. Here's the income potential based on an average of 20 daily units. Starting with just a base bet of $1 and your $1,000 bankroll, that's $600 a month extra. Anyone not need an extra $600? I don't know. I sure could. Right now, this is where I started 30 days ago at $1. 30 days ago, I started with dollar bets and the $1,000 bankroll. During that course of time, I've made more deposits and contributed my winnings to a higher bankroll. Currently, my bankroll is at $7,000, so I'm betting $7 units. My monthly income potential is at $4,200. That's pretty dang good <laughs> for what I view as a pretty safe way of playing. I think my current goal is to get to 10000 and cap it there. Because, hey, if 6000 ain't enough for you a month, eh, I don't know. You need to cut some cost. <laughs> Anyways, please like, subscribe, and share this video. And turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I put up a new video. That's all, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll catch you next time. Bakra Nation, signing off. Mm -hmm.